So, you want to use some hotkeys in Magic of Voxel? Hey guys, welcome back to Tets by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Magic of Voxel once again, taking a look at a little bit of shortcuts and hotkeys that can make your life a bit quicker and easier. Um, now, keep in mind, these hotkeys change uh, sometimes depending on updates and things, but um, I don't, that's why I don't usually, don't usually like saying hotkeys, but I figured we'd get into it today because uh, Magic of Voxel's hotkeys don't usually change during updates since there's not too many updates in the first place. We're going to go ahead and get started uh, with the most basic, of course, you need to delete, to delete everything that you got here. I'm going to close off this project tab right there. Now, if we uh, look up at the top left over here, we have the uh, the line tool, circle tool, and stuff like that. We can actually hit the corresponding letters to go to these instead of having to go up here. So if I hit B, that'll be box. Let me just go to attach. Uh, box. If we hit F, that'll create a face. You know, and V the same way, voxels. Um, so we can actually use those hotkeys just to really quickly uh, go between each of the um, each of the tools here, which is super sweet. Delete to get rid of all that stuff, of course. Um, now another cool one is we have an, if we have a new palette over here, we'll go to three. Now let's say I want to uh, grab a color, so let's grab a color real quick. We'll do like a uh, tealish sea foam something. All right, so if I add that color, and let's say I, let's say I paint something with it, right? Just paint something real quick. Um, now, let's say I have another color, and I have something like an orange, right? So we got a teal and an orange, all right. So now, if I'm in the viewport here, and I want to select the color that I'm hovering over, so we can go ahead and hold down Alt and left click, you can see over on our palette, it will actually change color to whatever I'm using. So we can really quickly do that instead of having to go over here and click a new material that way. All right, so let's say you want to duplicate a material. Now, what we can do is this: we can uh, go ahead and grab a new spot in our um, in our palette, and I'll hold down Alt, and I'll just drag this onto the material that I want to duplicate. So that's pretty cool. So we'll just hold down Alt. We'll go to New Space, hold down Alt, nope, hold down Alt, and click and drag from this one to the um, to the color we want to choose, which is a super easy and quick way to get all of that done. So we'll just. Uh, move there, click, drag from that one to the purple, and you can see we can just go ahead and do that over and over again, which is super cool. Um, so that's a really easy way of just duplicating materials. Maybe you want different shades, so you just want to darken it a little bit instead. You want a hue shift just a little bit, but you want the still the same base purple color. Really, really cool stuff. Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of different colors, but they're all spread out. Now, how do we fix this? We hold down Control, and we can move the uh, colors in the palette. We can just click and drag them around. So that's a really easy way of trying to get all your palette colors nice and organized, because I know it can get really, really crazy really fast. Now, let's say we have this super awesome model right here, but we want to show the uh, edge and the grid and the frame and stuff, but we don't want to come down here and actually have to click them, because we're too lazy for that. Or we just need to do things just a little bit quicker. We're going to go ahead and hit Control e for the edges, Control g for the grid, and Control f for the frame. So that is a super easy way of, uh, of showing and hiding all of those super quick-like. Maybe we really like to uh, mirror our canvas. So when we paint something, we can paint like that. But we want to mirror on this side over here. Now, instead of going over here to mirror, X, Y, and Z, we can just hit 1, 2, and 3 to mirror in every single direction. So now when we paint, you can see that it will mirror all over the place. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I seem to have made a mistake here. How do I hit the erase button without going all the way over here to hit erase? I don't know. Ooh, actually I do know. Let's hit the R key. And then we can switch to the erase button. <gasps> How easy is that? Now, we can hit the T button to go back to attach mode. And maybe I just want to hit the G button to maybe paint in a darker green color. Hmm. Look how easy this is. If we hit the control A button, we can select everything in our scene. But maybe uh, we want to just select a small portion of it. So let's go ahead and go to the select tool here and select none, which as you can see down there says control D. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take the time to select by hitting the end button on our keyboard and then just maybe drawing a box over top of this little guy right here. Now, of course, you know we can ooh, now you know we can move them around when we go to the move tool, which, as you know, is the control button and drag. So 
This is a super easy way of selecting and moving stuff around. Now let's say I want to move everything except for this little guy. So we'll hit Control I to invert the selection. Then we can hold down Control and move everything instead of having to go to the move tool over here and then moving it around. Now I have a tiny castle in this huge, huge canvas. So how do we fix that? We can go ahead and hit Control C to copy it and Control V to paste it. Now hold down Control, just move it over. Control V, move it over. Control V, hold down Control, and you guessed it, move it over. So I hope you enjoyed this super quick and easy tutorial about a few hotkeys that you can use in Magica Voxel to make your life just a wee bit easier. Just like Luigi over here. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, bye bye.